Hi, this is William at Puget Systems, and today we're going to be doing a quick video about CPU cores and clock speed using a car analogy. Imagine that a typical desktop CPU is a car. It seats two to four people and some luggage, travels at street and highway speeds, and meets most people's needs. But when it comes to heavier workloads, more specialized vehicles and CPUs are available. Sports cars reach higher speeds, and although they can't carry more than a normal car, they will get to the destination more quickly. CPUs like this will have a higher clock speed with the same number of cores. Advanced features like Intel's Turbo Boost let them go even faster when they need to, and their maximum speed depends on how much they are carrying, how many cores are active. With just the driver, a single core, it can go faster than with a passenger and luggage. For jobs where you need to carry more than just a couple people and some gear, a pickup truck or SUV will do a better job. It won't move as quickly, but it can carry two to three times as much stuff thanks to more cores. It can also go faster if it isn't carrying a full load, but if you only need to transport what a sports car could, then it isn't cost effective. Some people might still prefer such a vehicle for bragging rights though, or if they do occasionally need the extra capacity. Then for the really big jobs, moving tons of stuff at once, a semi-truck is king. It's even slower than a pickup, but able to carry a lot more at once and potentially even pull two trailers, dual CPUs. These cost a lot more to purchase and are more complex to operate, so few individuals would own something like this, but they are essential to keeping the economy going. This is all situational, though. If your job is to get a small package to someone as fast as possible, you wouldn't take a semi-truck. It would work, but it would take longer and be a waste of gas, electricity in the case of computers. Likewise, you could move a lot of stuff even in a small car, but it would take longer than a pickup or semi because you'd have to make several trips. Each would be faster, but the multiple trips required to get everything moved will end up taking longer than a vehicle that could do it all in one go. Some folks also like to overclock CPUs, akin to souping up a car. That can make it go even faster, but the more you push it, the more likely it is to overheat, wear out prematurely, or outright crash into something. If you're just out for fun or in a sport like racing, it could make sense, but it isn't ideal for professionals who value getting to their destination reliably as paramount. The point is that the right CPU depends on your applications. If you're not sure what your programs need, give us a call and we'll help, or check out our website pugetsystems.com for articles and recommended systems.